Pacific Island countries are especially vulnerable to climate change and rising sea levels. How do you think China and Samoa should join hands in coping with the impact from climate change? Climate change is definitely the one of the most uh, important priorities that Samoa government is implementing right now in terms of the Paris Agreement. Samoa also is chair of the alliances of small island states. So every time Samoa speaks at international forums, it also speaks uh, every now and then on behalf of the Alliance of Small Island States, which is about 40 plus uh, small island countries. This issue is, uh, is, should be an issue of importance and priority to all the countries. Now, Samoa acknowledges China's tremendous role in terms of its green energy pathway. The technology that China has, the expertise that China has, would go a long way in addressing our small island countries' aspirations to meet our energy transition targets. I'm very curious because Pacific Island nations are closer to what might call this existential threat than other nations. Now, in your observation, uh, what is lacking the most in our collective commitment as a global community to tackle climate change. I think the key one is accessible, affordable financing. China now has the technology, China has the expertise. I've traveled around some of the provinces. I was in Gansu and I saw amazing uh, solar farms out there. The missing part of the equation for small island developing states is I think affordable and accessible financing. There's a whole heap of uh, green climate finance but you know, you talk to any small island country, it's extremely difficult to access some of these finances. So there is scope here now for China to work closely with small island developing states and come up with a specific uh, product that we will be able to meet our clean energy transition targets. Ambassador Mariner, you've been in this position for nearly two years now. How would you summarize the priorities um, of your job in this first two years? And what do you plan to do going forward from here? Uh, of course, like any ambassadors, it's to ensure that the relationship uh, between China and Samoa continues to grow from strength to strength. Every now and then we have uh, issues that we need to discuss and clarify. But in terms of uh, ongoing projects, there's very strong collaboration in, uh, in our education sector, our health sector, and also our sports sector. So it's been a very, uh, very fast 24 months. And I must say, I'm learning new things every, every, every day. I'm learning new things here in China. It's an amazing Including place the to language. Be. Exactly. I'm still, I'm still struggling, but I'm trying my best. But every day I learn new things about China. And I think uh, I'm very privileged and honored to be in China at this point in time, to be Samoa's ambassador here in Beijing. Ambassador Mariner, we appreciate your time. It's been a great pleasure to have you on CGTN. Thank you.